In this video, we're going to have a look at um, how you can use eCare to support the rapid response team. I've logged into PowerChart and we're currently on the home page. First thing you need to do is set up a custom list to store your referrals. To do this, click on patient list, this banner icon and new. It's going to be a custom list. We need to give it a name. You do have the option in this view to share the list with colleagues, but for now I'm going to finish the list. I need to highlight it and move it into my active lists and then say OK. Obviously the list is empty at the moment. Let's say I've been referred a patient from one of the wards. I can search for the patient by their name or their medical records number. When I open the record, it's a good chance to review the current situation. And from toolbar, if I click patient, add patient to a patient list, and rapid response referrals then close the record refresh the screen and that patient is now on my list now to make this look a little bit more realistic I'm just going to add a few other patients to the list in the live system your list might look something like this clinically a more helpful view might be the doctor's work list this shows us a bit more information about the patients and the doctor's work list also has an add patient button, which is another way you can add people to the list. Don't forget that from this drop down menu here, you can see all the available columns for your work list, drag columns into view or out of view, or even disable columns that you think won't be very useful. Next, click on the arrow next to whiteboard and go to Rapid Response Services. First time you do this, you'll need to set the filters. Firstly, you need to give the dashboard a name. You'll probably want to make it your default filter. Save that list. Go down to Patient List. And we can filter by your referrals list by simply clicking here. Now save this, set the filters. We now have a dashboard view of the early warning scores of the patients on your referral list. You can see 10 have high scores, 3 medium and 3 low. If by any chance you have referrals who are not triggering on news, they won't appear in the dashboard. You can toggle between this dashboard view and a work list. Here you can see all the patients on your list. It's also possible to just see sections of the list. Let's assume I just want to see those with a high news score. So if I highlight this section of the dashboard and then go to work list, I'll see just 10 patients. I can see exactly who they are and where they are. You can see we have an overview section, current state and an actions tab. There is also easy access to message center and the patient's chart. We'll probably want to complete a clinical note. Simply select add. Now the type of note you want is rapid response. You can search for this by typing RR. The template should open automatically. It's possible to save the rapid response note as your favorite note type. You'll need to see one of the other videos to see how to do this. Fill in your note, 
type in as much as you feel that you need to. And when you're happy, sign it. You have the option to preview the note. You can then close the patient record. You have access to the sepsis screening form should you need it. And also your rapid response form. Complete this when you've assessed the patient, filling in the yellow fields as appropriate. Once complete, don't forget, sign the form. When you're ready to discharge the patient, open the same form, but select discharge, go to page two, fill in the appropriate outcome and sign. Going back to dashboard, in time, Further functionality will be added to this to allow you, for example, to sort patients by their degree of sepsis. When you have discharged a patient, don't forget to delete them from your list. This can easily be done by highlighting the patient, right-clicking and removing the patient from the list.